well, it's the right thing to do. I want to do my part. I kind of have a rare blood type, so uh, I know people need it. It doesn't take long. You just come in, you're here 5, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and you're done. I just want to help out. I know what a shortage we have, and just want to do my part. Well, I'm a blood donor. I was a blood donor before I even started working for Mississippi Blood Services because you can help people that way. It's just, you know, giving back. I want to give back to the community, and this is one of the ways that I know how. UMC used to be a big drive because that's why we used to have two and three buses in the alley because we get like a hundred and some units a day. That's like half right now. So it's been a big drop over the years since I've been here. Any idea why that? I have no idea. It's important in general for people in Mississippi to donate blood when they have the opportunity, but it's especially critical for the employees and the students at the medical center to donate because we're the home of the state's only academic medical center. We are the only level one trauma center in Mississippi and the only children's hospital as well. When you add our employees and our students together, we number over 10,000. So that's a powerful force to make a very significant contribution to the, to the needs of the blood supply in Mississippi. It has to come from somewhere. We have to help each other out. So how often do you donate? Uh, I donate whenever the buses come by. It makes it very easy. I don't even have to think about it. So whenever I see the buses. So this goes back to being a Boy Scout. You want to be prepared. It's better to have the blood donor units in place before they're needed rather than trying to respond afterwards. And how long does the whole procedure take? Uh, no more than about 15 minutes, start to finish. And when you come in, they, they assess you and, and take your Right. Blood. So it's an easy way to get a free blood pressure reading. Um, and they go through some basic questions and it doesn't take more than a few minutes to go through the pre-processing. And usually you can find a seat pretty easily and they're very efficient at it. You couldn't ask for more friendly people. I didn't feel a thing. Uh, she did a very great stick, so it doesn't hurt. Uh, don't have to worry about that. They Thank really you. know what they're doing. Thank you. Now, now it's the fun part because all you have to do is sit back and relax and, and you know this is going to be used for a good cause. Uh, one of the nice things about, these, about donating blood is that it's a perfect gift. It's going to go to somebody you don't know. They're going to get an anonymous gift and it's free and yet it's priceless. Peanut butter cookies and cranberry juice. So I'll just take a little bit of time to eat these and then I'll be on my way and so we're basically done uh, but it is a good idea to recover after you donate before you step outside. If you're going to give, give now. The 1955 is an easy number to remember because that's the year that the medical center was established. So that makes it kind of a fun and easy number to remember and to shoot for. But when you think about it, that's less than 20% of our total employee base and student base. So that is really a very small number um, when you think about the total number of the potential that we have. So I'd love to see us exceed that number, but certainly that is a very reachable number for our medical center family and something that I'm confident we can achieve.